Welcome back guys, NVM2 vlog update and today we got a car and friends Scorpion exhaust with us. Um, just dropped off this um, turbo back exhaust system for the M2, 80mm system with a very unique downpipe for maximum flow. It's got a little resonator as well to stop any kind of drone and it uses the OEM factory valve system so the Sport Comfort, Sport Plus and all that works. Um, on the fly. So yeah, it's a system that's been developed a while back on uh, one of our customers' cars, but obviously, um, since we've got IM2, it was imminent for us to get this on ours. I'm just showing you the stock system. It is a decent system, to be fair, from BMW, so hats off to them um, for creating a system that does sound decent. Um, the problems we have with the original systems, and like any factory system is, um, stuff like this, heat spots. Um, as you can see, when it turns blue, that's where the heat from the exhaust gases are struggling to get past and through. Um, and if you have a look, it's literally in this midsection. And the reason for that is because the actual midsection mid on the standard one isn't round, it's actually ovaled. Um, and some people think, oh, it's got the same surface area as an 80 mil system and blah, 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 but it hasn't. Um, as soon as you oval something, you change the direction of exhaust gases and that causes a lot of turbulence in the exhaust system um, but yeah it does sound good it sounds decent in all honesty and um, this is exactly why we need to um, to change it we did have some um, slip on exhaust tips on this one but we put the factory ones on there just for a comparison to the scorpion systems off that's what it looks like and um, we've just transferred over the bongs the hangers and the original motor Scorpion exhaust is on, it's full turbo back system, um, polished Daytoners. Let's show you the system, how it's fitted. Um, obviously, we've gone for a downpipe decat because we're going to stage two on this vehicle. Um, OEM mounts, mounts up to the original, um, even comes with a transfer for the uh, Bannerton bung, which reduces resonance. It's a true 80 mil system and it goes all the way to the back to a polished stainless steel back box. We'll just get it started up, um, let it warm up and then give it a few revs and see what you guys think.
guys is the Turboback 80mm system from Scorpion. Absolutely immense. Time for stage two mapping. These cars, when it sees a, a kind of um, pre-ignition or misfire at the top end, it will shut down the cylinder um, and it's doing that consecutively and it does that to reduce power and obviously save the engine. These are kind of fundamentals um, and safety within the engine ECU. So what we're going to do, pull out the plugs, um, change them over to uh, one grade or two grade um, cooler spark plugs and gap them accordingly to about 0.02 I believe. Um, and then we'll chuck, chuck it back in the dyno and uh, add a bit more boost at the top end and see what we can do. So looking at the plug, it's got a good colour on it. There's no damage to the tips or the ceramic. So hopefully one grade cooler as we do on most should do the job. Spot plugs are in. Just on a base run on the dyno. Um, so it's taken out that little uh, Merman misfire that we had. Um, fuel pressures seems to be um, a bit more stable as well. Just going to run it in the dyno with, um, spent the best part of a full day um, calibrating a stage two on this. Um, went through about 16 different revisions, believe it or not. Just want to get the power as early as possible with the biggest delta gain um, and utilising that Scorpion down, downpipe. So let's get it on. Results are in. Final results 427 brake horsepower, 653 newton meters of torque, so it's running really healthy. Um, top end, we have got a bit of timing pull, but that's down to the heat in the dyno cell at the minute. So on the road, we'll log it again and make sure the timing's as it should be. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and you can see what a turbo back exhaust does um, to an N55 engine, specifically the M2. Um, well within kind of tolerances at 430 odd brake horsepower should make it animal on the road compared to the stage one I mean it was 414 horsepower and 620 newton meters of torque so it's um, a lot more delta and a lot more acceleration so let's see what it does in quarter mile 100 to 200 etc thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stay in tuned for hybrid turbo development <laughs>